We're going to talk a little about FAST and the implementation of FAST that was part of Fatasia as well. Next slide. Um, I won't go through the foundation goals, but we're interested in science-driven changes in public policy and trying to improve the process for getting drugs developed for rare diseases. Let's go on to the next slide. And, and the challenge is we, we, the case we bring out is a kid here with MPS7 where this treatment's been known since 1993. It works very effectively, but 20 years have passed. It's still not yet in the hands of patients because the patient, the population is so rare and there is really no way to get the development through. There's only maybe 20 or 30 in the U.S. with this disease, yet we know scientifically it will work. And our question is, why isn't this translating? And we think there are things that could be improved. And one of the areas we focused on was accelerated approval. Uh, I won't go through all of the, what's called the Cure the Process campaign, but one of our three goals was improving the accessibility of the accelerated approval pathway, which I like to focus on now. It's really, it, in having done drug development at Biomarin and, uh, and in the past, I think the, the thing that we have found is nearly impossible to get a novel biomarker approved as a surrogate endpoint in an untreated disease that's never been treated before. And I think this is a challenge that makes it impossible to take advantage of accelerated approval. We need changes in accelerated approval, and Fidesia opens the door to those changes. Increased access, we have shown, could increase the number of drugs developed for the same investment by threefold. And I refer you to a paper where we did the analysis to show you that. Next slide. And in Fidesia, and I won't go through all of what's in it, next slide, is a um, particular part of the language is a, it, it requests in Fidesia now a new guidance for rare diseases. And the particular language that's important is it says within this guidance, uh, the secretary should consider novel approaches, how to incorporate novel approaches for the review of surrogate endpoints on pathophysiologic and pharmacologic criteria when other types of data may be impossible or practical to collect. And the important thing there is to say that pathophysiology is rare disease often are very clear, they may be genetic or others, that they're very clear. And we also know how the drugs are working in many cases. When we know that clarity, then the, the meaningfulness of surrogates is much clearer to us what they, what they should mean because the process is much more direct. We're trying to get away from the idea that you have to have clinical outcome data in order to accept a surrogate, which is never available for a rare disease in, in any case, and so which has led to the situation we're in, which is that it's almost essentially impossible to get a surrogate endpoint used for any rare disease, even though the science is stronger. So our hope going forward is to uh, produce, next slide, uh, we're doing a workshop, in fact, tomorrow, our workshop will start to organize stakeholders on, ex on accelerated approval, bring FDA, industry, academia together to talk about the critical factors that are needed for a guidance or how to improve the process of using and accessing accelerated approval in a scientifically sound way. We're not interested in something quick and easy and sloppy. We want something smart, thoughtful, scientifically sound, and how we gain credit for when our science of the disease, the drug, and the endpoint are very clear, and how we can use that to help raise uh, confidence that the drug will be will likely show clinical benefit uh, using a particular surrogate endpoint in, in clinical development. That white paper then will help drive, we hope, a guidance going forward um, that the FDA ask uh, the FDA to develop. And so we think by working, we're going to work closely with the FDA as well as industry and others to try to develop a really good scientific step forward for developing a guidance that I think will open the door to better science being done by industry with a clear, more predictable pathway forward for accelerated approval. And so we think it opens the door. It's time to move forward and get this done. We're committed as a foundation to driving through the next step. Legislation is the first step. The guidance will be next. Thank you.